All right, y'all, you already know all things sports and entertainment. So Colorado had a big game today or yesterday. yesterday <laughs> I guess since it's over midnight against Colorado State at uh, at Colorado State. And a lot of people thought that Coach Prime them would lose due to the fact that they got beat real bad and the team unfolded on uh, in front of everybody's eyes last week against Nebraska. Well, the game started out kind of sloppy for Colorado, honestly. And a lot of people thought Colorado was going to lose, especially on uh, on X in the comment section. But due to the quarterback play for Colorado State and the great quarterback play of Shador, Shador went uh, uh, 36 for 40, 49. He, threw the, he slinged the ball 49 times. <laughs> it's wild. 310 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions. And Travis Hunter, who should win the Heisman, he had two touchdowns today and an interception. At this point, it don't even matter what your record, what their record is. He's clearly the best player right now. Player, not team, player out there. But uh, them two kind of helped win. All oh, the offense did really good. I don't remember really seeing Shador get sacked. I did see him under pressure, but I didn't see him get sacked. Colorado's defense was great as well. Like I said, they got a couple interceptions. And the critique that I would have is still, they got a lot of penalties. A lot of penalties. Um, I did see one of the players score a touchdown, and he celebrated. I feel like Coach Prime pulled him to the side and told him don't do that, which I don't have a problem with that. Um, because when you celebrate like that, you put more of a target on your back. And at this moment, Colorado just need to get every win that they can. But overall, it was a good win. It's always good to beat your rival. And I know a lot of people was waiting on Coach Prime to and Colorado to lose because it was going to be hell online today if he would have lost. But they won a pretty good fashion. Now, they got a they, they got a schedule coming up. Let me see who they play. So they got Baylor. Baylor's coming to them next week. Then they go to UCF. So, I mean, these are going to be, with Baylor being a Big 12 team, we're going to be able to see whether or not did Colorado win because Colorado State is a uh, not a Power 5 team. But, you know, Baylor's in a same conference, going back to the big boys. And like I said, hopefully they'll be able to block and uh, let Shador get the ball off. I did see a couple of times where Shador held the ball a little bit too long. And I've been critical of him to that because when you get to the league, you got to get that ball quick. You know, you got people like Miles Garrett and uh, uh, Aaron Donalds and all these other different people coming at you. You're going to have to get that ball off, man. It's got to be one, two, gone. <laughs> he be holding, holding, looking. Yes, he's very efficient and he don't throw that many picks. But, man, oh, my God, especially when he get drafted by a terrible team in the NFL with a line. That's why it was hard for me to watch Justin Fields with the Bears. I almost had to turn it off because he was getting hit over and over and over again. Sometimes he was holding the ball too long. But like I said, yeah, great win for Colorado. Um, you know, hey, got another game next week against Baylor, which isn't going to be a, a easy win. Then after that, they got to go to University of Central Florida, which some people think might beat Colorado. Then they got against 14 Kansas State, against Arizona, Cincinnati, Texas Tech. So, yeah, they, they got to get Utah, who's a, a number 12 right now in the country. So, yeah, they got a, they got a busy, they got a long road. And, you know, right now with their 2-1. and one, So, I think I get six to get a bowl game. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Do y'all think that Colorado is still overrated? A lot of people are saying it. Do y'all think that they're going to make a playoffs or a bowl team? Let me know what y'all think.